Shalom, family Messiah Yeshua. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 20 and starting verse 8. Exodus chapter 20 and starting verse 8. Again, Exodus chapter 20 and starting verse 8. Again, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8, and I read, Remember the Shabbat day to God it set apart. Six days shall you labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Shabbat of Yahweh your El. In it you shall not do any work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your cattle, and with the strength that is through your gates. For in six days y'all will make Shalim and the rest. The sea and all that in them is. And rest the seventh day. Where y'all will bless the Shabbat day and set it apart. Now turn to Exodus chapter 31 and verse 12. Exodus 31 and verse 12. And I read. And y'all will speak unto Moses saying. Speak you also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Shabbats you shall guard, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am Yahweh that do set you apart. You shall guard the Shabbat, therefore, for it is set apart unto you. Everyone that defiles it shall surely be condemned, for whoso doth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Shabbat of rest, set apart to Yahweh. Whoso does any work in it, in the Shabbat day, he shall surely be condemned. Wherefore the children of Israel shall guard the Shabbat, to observe the Shabbat throughout the generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days Yahweh made Shabbatim and the rest. And on the seventh day, you rested and was refreshed. Now turn to Genesis chapter 2. And verse 1. Thus the Shalim and their rest were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, El ended his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And El blessed the seventh day and set it apart. For the in it he had rested from all his work which El created and made. I read that to say this. It is our obligation as believers and followers of Yahweh to reverence and respect the seventh day. Yahweh has given us six days to work and do all of our labor. But that seventh day, which Yahweh called the Shabbat, the day of rest, He has both blessed and set apart to Himself. So it is our obligation to honor, to reverence, and to respect the seventh day to not do any labor or work on the seventh day but we if applicable are to gather to worship our Yahweh on that seventh day the Shabbat or the seventh day is a mandated day of gathering the Shabbat the seventh day is a mandated an obligated day of gathering. So it is not an option, not a suggestion, but it is a command for all who believe and worship our Yahweh to observe the weekly Shabbat, the seventh day. The first day of the week which is commonly called Sunday. 
is not a day of rest. The first day of the week, which is commonly called Sunday, is not a day of rest. It is the first day of the week. From what is commonly called Sunday, which is the first day of the week, to Friday, which is, common, which is the sixth day of the week. Those are your six days. But that seventh day, which is called the Shabbat, which is commonly called Saturday, is the day of rest and is an obligation, it is a mandate from our Yahweh that we observe the weekly Shabbat. If applicable, what do you mean by applicable? If there is an assembling of disciples of Yahweh and of his beloved son Yeshua HaMashiach we are mandated to gather on that weekly Shabbat if you are obedient to Yahweh then you will reverence and respect the weekly Shabbat Yeshua instructed us that he is the master of the Shabbat day. It does not mean that he can invalidate the Shabbat. But what it means is that, well, we, we, we can, we are to do well on the Shabbat. He, he, he's the master of the Shabbat meaning that he, he does not have the right to change the Shabbat but he sets an example of what to be done on the weekly Shabbat and Yeshua Hamashiach's example that he set was he done well on the Shabbat. If there was healing that need that, that was to be performed, he healed by the power of Yahweh. There were preaching and teaching that he was charged to do. He preached and teached the word of Yahweh. So as a scripture believer is your obligation to observe the weekly Shabbat, the seventh day, as is written, remember the Shabbat day to God it set apart. For to observe the Shabbat, the weekly Shabbat, you do testify that Abba Yahweh has set you apart to Himself. You do honor and exalt and praise Yahweh for setting you apart to himself in fact all of Yahweh's annual celebrations and which includes the seventh appointed times and the four memorials are called Shabbats are called days of rest because these celebrations of Yahweh do signify that Yahweh has set us apart has reconciled us unto himself so if if you had been reconciled to Yahweh if you had repented of your sins and were baptized in water in the blessed name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul and you receive the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak thus being set apart to Yahweh is your obligation to observe the weekly Shabbat and to observe the yearly celebrations of Yahweh (coughs) 
the yearly celebrations of Yahweh are as follows. Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits, Pentecost, trumpets, day of atonement, tabernacles, Purim, day of Simon, celebration of our ancestors victory over Nicanor, and the feast of dedication. These are the yearly celebrations of Yahweh that are esteemed as set apart gatherings. Gatherings that do testify that you are reconciled and you have been made one with Yahweh. These are mandated for us as scripture believers to observe. If you fail to observe the yearly celebration of Yahweh, you sin, you are in transgression, you are in defiance of Yahweh's word. For our Yahweh commands us to observe the yearly Shabbats. Yahweh commands us to observe the weekly Shabbat. From day one to day six, you are allowed to work and support your family. But on that seventh day, it is commanded, even mandated, that you take off from work or not work at all on that seventh day. Because the seventh day, which is called the Shabbat, has been set apart to Yahweh. And it is your obligation, it is a mandate from Shalim that you not work on the seventh day. If you work on the seventh day, then you are in sin. You are in defiance and rebellion of the will of Yahweh. Abba Yahweh instructs us to remember the Shabbat. To guard the Shabbat as set apart unto Yahweh. So on that weekly Shabbat you're not to work. And if applicable, if there is an assembly of believers in Yahweh. You must gather. What constitutes an assembly of believers in Yahweh? All who have repented of their sins and were baptized in the blessed name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of the soul and have received the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit, they constitute an assembly of Yahweh. Because when you're born of Yahweh, you become one with Yahweh. And in oneness with Yahweh, you become one with all others who have likewise become one with Yahweh. And to become one with Yahweh, you must be born again. You must be born of Yahweh. And there's only one way to be born of Yahweh. And that is by way of obedience to Acts 38. That is, you must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the blessed name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. This would constitute an assembly of believers, an assembly of the set apart. It is a mandate from Shamaim or heaven that we observe the week of Shabbat. No work is to be done on that week of Shabbat. If you're working on the week of Shabbat, you sin. If you're not being obedient unto the word of Yahweh, you defile the weekly Shabbat. It is a commandment that we observe the weekly Shabbat. It is a commandment of Yahweh that we observe the yearly celebrations, which are also called Shabbat, or days of rest, or days that show that you're set apart to Yahweh.
We are commanded to live by every word that proceeds out of Yahweh's mouth, as is written in Deuteronomy chapter 8. Deuteronomy chapter 8, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 1. All the commandments which I command you this day shall you observe to do, that you may live. If you want to live, you must live by every word of Yahweh. All the commandments which I command you this day shall you observe to do, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which Yahweh swear unto your fathers. And you shall remember all the way which Yahweh your elders led you these forty years in the wilderness to humble you and to prove you to know what was in your heart, whether you would guard his commandments or no. And he humbled you and suffered you to hunger and fed you with manna which you knew not. Now did your fathers know that he might make you know that man does not live by bread, by bread only. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh does man live. Turn to, to the book of Baruch. Chapter 4. This is the, this is the book of the commandments of El. And the law that endures forever. All they that God shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. And turn to Revelation 22. And verse... 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may write to the tree of life, and they enter into the gate into the city. What city? The Serapot city. So in order to be saved, in order to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come, you must observe the whole law of Yahweh. And in observing the whole law of Yahweh, you must observe his weak weekly Shabbat and his yearly celebrations the weekly Shabbat is that seventh day which is commonly called Saturday the yearly celebrations are Passover unleavened bread first fruits Pentecost trumpets Day of Atonement, Tabernacles, Purim, Day of Simon, a celebration over the over the victory of Nicanor, and a feast of dedication. Those are our yearly celebrations of Yahweh. They are Yahweh's celebrations. They are Shabbat. They are Yahweh's day that show that we're set apart to Him. If you observe the whole law of Yahweh, then you will observe the yearly celebration of Yahweh. You will observe the weekly Shabbat. If you violate the yearly Shabbat and the year and the yearly celebration of Yahweh, then you are in sin, and the wages of sin is death. In order to be saved, you got to observe the whole law of Yahweh. The law of Yahweh is not done away with. And Moses' law is the law of Yahweh. Those that teach that the law of Moses is done away with, you teach false doctrine. And as the Holy Spirit aforestated, stated, all false doctrine is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And if you willfully blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you cannot be pardoned of your transgressions. And if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, then you surely will inherit eternal damnation. If you say that the law is done away with, then you both take away from the scripture and you add to the scripture. If you add to the scripture, Yahweh promised to add the plague that he deemed suitable to add to you. If you take away from the scripture, he will take or remove your name from the book of life and from 
the Serapar city and from the thing written in the book. If y'all remove your name from the book of life, then he has exempted you from inheriting eternal life. That means you shall surely inherit eternal damnation. We are commanded to live by every word of Yahweh. But in order to live by every word of Yahweh, you must be reconciled with Yahweh. You must be one with Yahweh. You must be brought into alignment and fellowship with Yahweh. And in order to be brought into alignment and fellowship with Yahweh, you must be engrafted into Yahweh's Son, which is Yeshua HaMashiach. That would mean to believe on Jesus Christ. To believe on Jesus Christ means you are being engrafted into Jesus Christ. And to be engrafted into Jesus Christ, you must be born again. And to be born again, you must be born of water and the Spirit. You must be baptized in water in the blessed name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. Those who have not repented of their sins and were baptized in the blessed name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul and have not received the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit, you have not been engrafted into Yahweh's beloved Son, and if you have not been engrafted into the Yahweh's beloved Son, then you're not one with Yahweh, and if you're not one with Yahweh, and if you're not fellowship with Yahweh, if you're not in alignment with Yahweh, you are not serving Yahweh, for no man can serve Yahweh unless he's been brought into oneness with Yahweh. In order to serve Yahweh, you must be brought into oneness with with Yahweh. In order to serve Yahweh, you must be brought into fellowship with Yahweh. In order to serve Yahweh, you must be brought into alignment with Yahweh. And to be brought into alignment and fellowship and oneness with Yahweh, you must be born of Yahweh. And to be born of Yahweh, you must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sins. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. This to everybody. This to the whole sons and daughters of Adam. This to everybody. Whether you're the President of the United States, whether you're the President of Russia, whether you're the president of Iran, whether you are the governor of North Carolina, whether you are on the city council or uh, town commissioners, you got to be one with Yahweh. And to be, be one with Yahweh, you got to be born again. And to be born again, you got to be you got to obey Acts two thirty eight. And when you obey Acts two thirty eight, then you must diligently learn. What is required of you. And, and in learning what is required of you. Which is obedience to every word of Yahweh. You will learn. That you must observe the weekly Shabbat. And the yearly celebrations of Yahweh. And you must observe the dietary instructions. As outlined in Leviticus chapter 11 and Deuteronomy chapter 14. Well, we are obligated to observe the whole law of Yahweh. In order to be saved, you got to obey Yahweh's word. In order to be saved, you got to obey the word of Yahweh. In order to be saved, you got to obey the word of Yahweh. If you're found continually disobeying the word of Yahweh, you cannot be saved. If you are perpetually, if you are continually disobeying Yahweh's word, you cannot be saved. For salvation is granted, it's given to those who are obedient to the word of Yahweh. Because to obey the word of Yahweh means you have divested yourself of your will. You have emptied yourself of your will. And you have sacrificed yourself of your will. And you have submitted unto the will of Yahweh. It's all about the will of Yahweh. 
in order to receive salvation, you must receive totally and absolutely and without reservation the will of Yahweh. You got to divest yourself of your will. You must empty yourself of your will. You must sacrifice your will and submit absolutely unto the will of Yahweh. It's all about the will of Yahweh. It's all about Yahweh. Nothing else matters but Abba Yahweh. Nothing else matters but Abba Yahweh. He's the one and exclusive deity and creator of all things. So will you submit yourself unto Abba Yahweh while you have opportunity, while you have breath in your nostrils? Abba Yahweh commands you in Exodus chapter 31 Exodus 31 and verse 12 and Yahweh and Yahweh speak unto Moses saying and Yahweh speak unto Moses saying speak you also unto the children of Israel saying Verily my Shabbats you shall guard, you shall observe, you shall obey, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am Yahweh that do set you apart. You shall observe the Shabbat therefore, for it is set apart unto you. Everyone that defiles the Shabbat shall surely be put to death. Why? For the wages of the sin is death. That is why those who inherit the lake of fire, they inherit their second death. For whosoever does any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Shabbat and rest, set apart to Yahweh. Whosoever does any work in the Shabbat day, he shall surely be put to death. Work for the children of Israel shall observe the Shabbat, to guard the Shabbat throughout their generation for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For the sixth day, Yahweh made Shamaim and Eretz, and on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. So, we are commanded to observe Yahweh's weekly Shabbat and his yearly celebrations if you are a scriptural believer if you have repented of your sins and was baptized in the blessed name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul and you have received the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit at the initial event by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak then you will diligently observe all of Yahweh's yearly celebrations that includes the week of Shabbat and his appointed times and his separate memorials. O Yahweh, in the name of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for granting your servant another opportunity to speak forth the word of truth and wisdom, patience, and fortitude. Thank you for the platform to declare your righteous and your eternal testimonies. I beseech you moreover, O Yahweh, that you will draw your chosen ones to both hear and receive your word as you open their heart to receive it. And I pray that you allow abundant fruit to be produced in those chosen souls that they may be counted worthy of your salvation. Continue to guard, to sustain, and to preserve your elect ones in all wisdom, patience, loving kindness, and uncommon favor. Until our enemies continue, continue to sing your judgment and slaughter upon them, 
especially upon my enemies located here in Roxville, North Carolina, and Person County, send upon my enemies your great, your perpetual, your unceasing, your incurable, your terrible plagues, torment, curses, fairy, judgment, and slaughter till they are destroyed, O Yahweh. According to your great love for your set apart people, according to your great love for your servant, you bring down my enemies located here in Person County and Rockford, North Carolina. You send upon my enemies your great judgment and great slaughter. As they sought to as they seek to persecute your servant, you so persecute them. You continue to raise up evil messengers and Malachim against them to both harass, oppress, and terrify them, to vex them, O Yahweh. You make their shame and contempt and derision open before the whole erects. O Yahweh, bring them down. Bring them down into the dust. Bring them down to total ruin and desolation. That your right hand, that your set apart arm may be exalted. And as you bring down my enemies to the dust and total desolation, you exalt your servant. And as you exalt your servant, guard humility in your servant, O Yahweh. O Yahweh, I give your name glory, honor, and praise for hearing the petition, the supplication, and the intercession of your servant. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. So be it. So be it. Remember, family, please show your support by sending a donation either to my cash app or my PayPal. Or send a donation to Western Union or Money Ground. As Abba Yahweh has aroused and stirred and directed your heart please give as you have submitted yourself unto Yahweh as you have divested yourself and emptied yourself of your will please give to the support of your beloved brother and your fellow laborer in the gospel of our exalted king Yahshua of Nazareth. May Yahweh bless all that will hear and receive his word. May Yahweh bless all that will first submit themselves unto Yahweh and to give as Yahweh directs and arouses their heart to give. I love you all, family. Shalom.